Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we're going to be talking about the real reason why you hear spooky, mysterious, whispering voices in the woods just south of Brandywine Drop at Roanoke Ridge. So this is an Easter egg that I've covered in the past before, and it's one of the reasons why I've told you guys to stay away from Roanoke Ridge, especially at night. And uh, if you guys have never heard this before, basically what you need to do is go to this location right here. Again, look for Brandywine Drop and then just head a little bit further south. And what you'll do is go into the woods and during the day, everything seems pretty normal. You don't really hear anything. You know, people are passing by on their horses. You can hear the musical score of the game. However, if you return at night, something incredibly spooky happens. You start to hear voices, and this is what it sounds like. Okay, so if you're like me and you have no idea what's going on with those voices, trust me, you are not alone. They're really hard to hear, and we don't get any subtitles for them either, so it's kind of difficult to pick up on what they're talking about. Now, what I was able to pick up on is it's two people talking to each other, a guy and a girl. Now, if you were to just go to these woods, you would probably just assume that that's it. There's no other information out there. However, that's not the case. There's actually a, like an in-game, I don't know if movie is the right word, but there is a film, I don't know if that's the right word either, that you can watch that actually gives us some background on this event and this Easter egg. So in the Valentine Theater, sometimes there will be a show available called the Ghostly or Ghastly Serenade, which actually tells the sad story of this young couple that we're going to end up meeting today. So I'm just going to sit back and actually let you guys take a listen to this because it explains everything that's going on really well here. And then I'll meet you guys once the movie, film, whatever it's called, is over. Greetings and salutations, gentle folk. This here's the story about a young couple from the village of Annisburg that was courting a few years after the Revolutionary War. Courting in the woods, as you know young people want to do. Stealing away all sneaky-like. A girl by the name of Ethel Beauchard snuck out of the parlor one evening just as soon as her mother went out to hang clothes on the line from the washing. She met up on the road by her farm with a boy by the name of Eugene Hutton. Now, the Hutton boy was an athletic chap, like boxing, fishing, and swinging Indian clubs. It's quite singular to the story that he didn't seem all that inclined to go to war in the preceding years leading up. Well, they walked in the woods for a while. Pretty soon, they lost their bearings and no longer knew the north from the south, nor east from west, neither. Then they heard a low, moaning sound. What's that terrible noise? She said all a tremble. 
Must be a sick calf looking for its mama. They've been known to ball like that. Let me take a look, said Eugene. Well, old Eugene went and disappeared around the tree, came out the other side, and gave her a terrible fright. Boom! She let out a shriek, then went to chastising. You should be ashamed of yourself, Eugene Hutton, she said. Instead of giving a girl protection, you go carry on acting foolish and fresh like the Queen's prize jester. But right then and there, a chilly wind blew through and knocked off Eugene's hat. I need to get back home. My mama has a terrible temper. She's like to stomp up and down if she finds out we're missing. She is a fair stout woman, Eugene noted. But just then, before this couple of miscreants could head home, they heard the sound of heavy wheels groaning and people marching. The cacophony grew closer and closer. And through the fog, they could make out the shapes of ghost horses pulling spectral cannons and dead soldiers marching as if their graves could no longer contain them, each wearing a vile red coat. You will pay for your moral transgressions, the dead soldier howled and cut his head clean off. Miss Beauchard shrieked in horror as Eugene's head landed right in her hand, his eyes still darting about, attempting to discern what horror had transpired. Little Miss Ethel Beauchard ran as fast as she could, stumbling and getting caught on trees as she tore through the forests. Terrified for her life, the dead soldiers marching after, hungry for blood. When she returned home, she told the people of the village that an army of the dead had taken Eugene within the confines of the fog. British soldiers who died protecting tyranny were rising from their graves as if to continue the fight for the demonic English. The townspeople erupted in fright and dismay until one daughter came forth and accused her of witchcraft. She raised the dead to murder that boy for his pursuit of unwanted advances, he said. So she too must perish. And that very night, they put her to the stake and burned her dead. Now, let that be a lesson to you young ones not to go courting in the woods, in case the English lurk there still. Okay, so hopefully that gave you a better idea of what's going on there. The two voices that we actually hear belong to Ethel Beauchered, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly, and Eugene Hutton who is a young couple who seem to get lost in the woods of Annisburg and Roanoke Ridge. Now, as you guys saw, Eugene's head was actually cut off by a ghostly army of British soldiers, redcoats. And when Ethel came back home, a mob of villagers actually burned her alive for witchcraft. So that is intense. And as soon as I heard about this, I wanted to actually go back to see if I could replicate the same thing. Like, if we hear the voices of this young couple, could we also see the ghosts of the army British soldiers and the mob of villagers that were burning her alive? So I went back there and I specifically looked for that event, but I was unable to find anything. I was only able to hear what a lot of you guys have already heard, the young couple whispering at night. So I don't know if it's possible to see this. I would find it unlikely. You know, at this point, I would assume someone would have seen this. But you never know. Maybe this is one of those Easter eggs or secrets or mysteries that has just escaped a good bit of people up until now. But now you should have a better idea of why you hear these voices. Because it belongs to a young couple that ended up getting lost in the woods. And an army of ghost soldiers ended up basically killing them which is crazy. Now, at least for me, I didn't see anything other than hearing the voices of Eugene and of Ethel. So I didn't see their ghost, like kind of how you can see the ghost of that swamp lady in the bayou. You don't see anything like that here. You only see the voices. And there isn't like a white blip that pops up or anything like that. And as I mentioned earlier, there's no subtitles. So you would have to be like really listening out for this. But it's cool how you can actually view something like this in game and completely figure out the backstory. Because up until now, I was so confused 
as to what was really going on here. So finding this out has almost made me want to investigate some of the other in-game films and motion pictures that you can take a look at to see if they reveal any more information. So if you know of any other interesting little movies like this that you can watch in-game, please be sure to let me know in the comments down below, or you can reach out to me on my Facebook page and let me know down there. If you did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new, or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. Without the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.